Now, when you think of bourbon, you think of Kentucky. Well, when you think of caviar and top quality caviar, you need to be thinking of Kentucky. Forget the foreign fish. There are caviar carriers calling these Western Kentucky waters home. We want the whole nation to kind of realize that. The elusive. Just not anyone can go get it. And exquisite eggs. The two types of caviar that we have uh, are the only wild caught caviar in the, in the world. Are paddlefish produced and sturgeon supplied. You know, the fish eat real natural ingredients. It's not something that's being processed in a plant somewhere. Far from it. The Lake City fish market is about as real as it gets. I don't have to worry about what my clothes smell like when I get up in the morning. Because <laughs> I know it's just going to get worse. So is owner and operator David Fields. I, I sell it. I don't eat it. <laughs> but I do try it. I mean, I, and I've gotten a taste for it. And a lot of times my moods are dependent on the quality of the eggs that come in. And I know that sounds crazy. More like crazy committed. We want to get it here and get it processed as fast as we can. From November to May, David and his team spend the season in steps. Whether you have 10 fish, five fish, 30 fish, the process is completely the same. Securing, slicing, screening, salting. Oh, the secret's definitely in the salt. And solidifying their spot as America's best caviar. There's not another person in the United States that has put their hands on more caviar than I have in the last seven years. But David hasn't always been the caviar king. Before eggs, it was education. I originally got into teaching and basketball coach, and then I became an administrator. After 13 years, he traded in one net for another. My wife was pregnant with twins at the time. Tricky timing that turned out terrific. I haven't looked back ever since and it's it's turned out well for us. Competition kind of fuels my fire a little bit and this business has tremendous competition in it. The days are long. I, I'm, I'm going on fumes, but still I think there's plenty in the tank. But the passion for this palate pleaser is powerful. I just want to know more and more and more and I'm really eager and so it's really kept me kind of chasing this dream. A dream that delivers the desired delicacy to different destinations. We're having to market it to people that are, many of them don't even know where Kentucky is on the map. 80% of the company's product goes to New York City. Another 15 lands in the West Coast in California, and the other 5% finds itself in Chicago and Miami. The misconception about caviar is, is the price of it and how everybody thinks that if you're in caviar, somehow you're rich, and, and that's just not true. There are a lot of hands in that cookie jar. It's like the stock market. It's up and down, and it changes within a matter of days, hours. Business is booming for this bluegrass boy, but Commonwealth caviar consumption needs to catch up. We want to sell it all in Kentucky if we can. That's when I'll be successful. <laughs> a tall order this egg expert is taking on each and every day. If I use the analogy of a ladder, I hope I'm just stepping on that first rung, you know, and I want to climb to the top. 